welcome back to my channel this is my second video um, and I finished work a little bit early today and it was such a good day so I thought why don't I come home and film another video so here I am I haven't really worked out what type of look I want to do today but I do really want to use this red lippy here from MAC which is the Pro Longwear lippy that I used in my last video. It's this super amazing bright red colour. So if I just swatch that. You can just see how gorgeous that is. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a bit of a bold lippy today and I thought that would be a great colour to use. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm not really too sure what I am going to do with the eyes, but we will just play around and see what happens. Just gonna grab a wipe. I'm always very notorious for putting things all over my hands and then next thing you know it's on my t-shirt my blouse so I'm gonna get that off okay so the first thing like I did in my last video is just to kind of get my hair out of my face so I've got these two little clips that you use to kind of straighten your hair or partition it so I'm just going to Grab the sides, take a little chunk. Obviously, you can do whatever you like, but I just feel like these are so easy to use. Um, and it's just so good if you've got all of that hair out of your face, so that when you are doing your makeup, it's not having to worry about it getting in your face and ruining something. So just kind of put it to the back there. Just make sure it's all tight. Depending on how thick your hair is, you might need another clip. Okay, that's good enough. <clears throat> get the dress positioned okay so like last time what I want to do is start off first with my Nivea um, so this is just kind of some body lotion if you do have really sensitive skin I would recommend using like proper face moisturizer but this one is really good and just keeps me super hydrated Throughout the day. Cool. Then once that's all on, then again I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is strobe cream hydration. So I'm just gonna put a small fingertip of that on and again just moisturize that to my skin okay, so what I might do is I'm gonna go in and do my foundation first um, but I'm not going to do um, I'm not gonna do my concealer until after I do for my foundation uh, I saw that Kylie Jenner does her concealer after she does her eyeshadow so that there's no she makes mistakes or anything like that so I'm just going to give that a try again I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear foundation in the shade NC42 so I'm just going to pop actually no I'll put it on my foundation brush just a nice generous little pump there and again, I'm going to get my MAC Fix Plus and just give that a spritz so it's nice and dewy. I'm just going to pop that. Oh, don't drop the brush all over my face. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to pat that on and just to make sure that that's all smoothened out you can't see any streaks um, but it's just to ensure that there is no streak marks so pat the eyes ever so slightly And because I am wearing quite a low dress, cut dress, in terms of the neckline, I'm just going to pop a bit down there as well. Yes, so like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit more of that foundation on the brush, just a tad. I'm just going to go down a little bit lower. really important that you just make sure that it's all kind of blended in. You can't see any weird kind of marks anywhere. And get all that excess product and just and just grab that bit of foundation they love. Okay, so now that that is all on, so you can see that there's quite a nice even coverage on there. So I'm just going to grab my MAC Tramp Prep and Prime Translucent Powder and I'm just going to pop that on, just a, kind of the first layer of that using a big fluffy brush. As you can see it picks up quite a lot of that product. I'm just going to set what's currently on the face there. Now what I am going to do is grab my concealer, um, so it's my MAC concealer, let me just pop this on, so I've got my MAC concealer there, just this little bottle and that again is in NC35, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my fingers, just a little pump. I'm just going to do a little base for my eyeshadow. If you've got too much of that product, you can just swipe it out, put it all the way up to the brow bone, and you can also just pop some below as well. I just want to make sure that I really dry that up. So again, I'm going to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. And I'm going to dust a little bit of that powder just on the lid just to make sure that that is not so liquidy. go into my Maricorn, I don't really know how to say this, but my, I'll say Unicorn eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to go into this little kind of, I would say it's almost like 
the skin colour type of shade there. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. Just make sure there's no product on there. And I'm just going to pick some of that up, tap off the excess. And I'm going to just pop that into the crease as my transition shade. Just to give that area a bit of dimension. Cool, so you can see that that's building up quite nicely. Now before I continue with my eyes, again I'm just going to do my eyebrows, so using the e.l.f. kind of dark or medium kit there. You can see it's been used quite a lot, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to go do my brows and I'll be back in a few seconds to continue with the eyeshadow. See you soon. Hi guys, I am 90% finished with the brows I just finished filling them in and I'm just gonna grab a bit of concealer with this tiny 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 little brush here and I'm just going to run that on the outline of my brows just to give it a bit more definition I think this step makes such a difference it just really helps to tidy everything up really nicely. Cool, so then once you do that bit of an outline there, then you just want to grab a slightly smaller brush. So this is my purple concealer brush. And I'm just going to ever so slightly that out. I think for this step little pads work a lot better than kind of swiping. Especially for the under eye. And then I'm just going to grab my brow gel and just run that over just to finish that off. Awesome, so now that the brows are all done, I'm going to continue with my eyeshadow. So again, I'm just going to go into my Unicorn palette. Grab, I think I'm going to use a slightly smaller blending brush. Um, actually, I'll go into my other little blending brush that I got from my peach palette. And again, I'm just going to... Awesome. So now that that one is all, now that that one is all done, I'm gonna go into my Morphe palette now, and I really am loving this red shade here. It's like a very sparkly red shade. So I think before I place that one on, I am going to cut my crease again just to really pop that color out. Especially because it is a bit more of a metallic -y shade as opposed to matte. So if you give me one second, I'm just going to position you slightly um, closer so that you guys can really see what's going on. One second. Awesome, so you get a better, bit of a better view here. 
So like I said, I am going to cut my crease. So I'm just going to get that concealer brush that I was using again. Um, it does feel a little bit tacky, so I might just wet that a bit by my using my MAC Fix Plus just to soften those bristles out a little bit. All of these brushes um, were super cheap, these purple ones, compared to my um, Shanexo. So they're obviously not going to be like Morphe brushes or MAC, um, but like I said, I'm just kind of building up as I go, so just putting a bit more concealer on my hand there. Dipping that brush in and I'm just going to go in and cut that crease. I didn't go in as high as I did last time so by doing that I just didn't raise my eyebrows um, and the lid so that I could get a bit more of a definition. It is still a little bit off but it's a lot better than I did last time. Little cut crease down there. I'm just gonna go back into my Morphe palette. So that shade that I was looking at, I think that would be quite nice to match my lid. That colour is called Jesus. Snatched. Very fitting. So I'm just going to grab that colour on a eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to grab kind of a flattish brush to put that on. Um, so I think I might use the other end. I'm going to use that other end of my first brush I was using and again I'm just going to pat that excess powder out and I'm just going to really pack that on. On my brush there and I'm also going to spray it with Max, uh, Max Fix Plus just to further make it a bit more dramatic. So I think that's looking quite nice there. So I'm just going to grab the other side of that blending brush. Go in for a bit of a darker maroon shade, kind of maybe that one there is looking, it's calling my name a little bit. Um, so that's like a really nice dark maroony kind of purpley colour. And that one is called Passion. So we're going into a bit of Passion. And I'm just going to pop that into the outside. So I really want to just blend these two colours together and then I'm going to use that other first blending brush and go back into my very first base shade which was that colour there. Now I'm going to run that just at the top close to my brow bone just to make sure that it's all looking really I'm just going to do the other eye really quickly guys and then I will cut 
come back to you in a few minutes once it's all done. Okay guys, so I have done that on both sides there, just kind of blended that out a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually grab my Morphe palette again and I want to go into maybe this shade here and just put kind of a pop of colour straight in the middle. So I'm just going to use a little small fluffy brush and just right in the middle. Awesome guys, so that's what that's looking like. Sorry about the weird angles. And then what I'm going to do is use that same brush. Um, actually, before I do that, I might just conceal my eyes very quickly. I'm just going to put some more of that concealer down and I'm going to use like go on with my beauty blender just add that all under my eyes now night lashes that I have which is from revive so I'm going to put on those lashes that I had last time so if you give me one second and I will be right back so the lashes are all done there pretty easy to put those on on this time practice makes perfect and i also did a wing eyeliner um so i might actually show you guys how i do it i've never really had such dramatic ones i usually do them quite thin but i'm really loving the way i did it this time so i'm just going to finish off the face um before i go into my contouring i'm just going to put some of my mac Prep and prime on my lips just to get them ready for my liquid lip. Just so they're nice and moisturized. Awesome, so I'm just going to get my Anastasia um, contour kit here, I'm light to medium, and I'm just going to grab my angled brush and dip into these two colors here I'm gonna start shaping out the face I love contouring so much just really helps to bring the face together snatch it up a little bit I'm just going to curve that in a little bit with my fingers and slightly do What I'm going to do is go back into my unicorn palette and I'm going to put a little bit of, hmm, I think I'll do the sheesh colour again for my inner corner. So just grab a small brush, I'm just going to place that. have some pink in there in the moment so I just want to slightly just want to I just want to slightly tap it in there and also pop a little bit under my brow bow
And I think I might use that same shade. And I'm gonna use a slightly little angled brush here. I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones and also go up to my brow, top of my brow a little bit. Oh, look at that baby. Slay. A bit of blush on as well just to go with this kind of pink color here so I'm gonna use my Tahari palette so it's got those three blushes and I'm just gonna go for that kind of a mixture of those two shades there so I've just got a blush brush here from Shanix so and I don't want a lot of that And the apples of those cheeks. Awesome guys, so we are nearly all finished. The last step is just to put on our lippy. So I am going to still, even though I do have a bit of a dramatic look, I do want to still pop that lippy on. So I'm just going to put that on now. Okay guys, and that is the finished look right there. So I'm really digging this. It's definitely kind of what I like, like to go for. Um, definitely always loving a bit of a bold lip there. Um, had so much fun doing this. I will just do a bit of a close up. <coughs> So you can see that is the eyeshadow there. Loving the red lip, I think that was a really good choice to do. But yeah, that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please feel free to subscribe and like and comment. I am definitely happy if you have any constructive criticism or something you think I could do better um, for my videos please do let me know um, always happy to learn and to keep developing my skills but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video one final look again and thank you guys so much for watching hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you in the next video with love bye